Hello, it's your news anchor, Jorge Maldonado, and welcome to the nightly news taking place during COVID-19 in Napa Valley, California. Our first story is of an interview by Isaac Dominguez interviewing a local family on their thoughts of the coronavirus. Hello, I'm Isaac Dominguez, and I'm here to interview my little brother, Mateo. Hi. Um, so, first question. How is being quarantined affecting your life? Or your school life right now? Um, it's affecting me pretty difficultly because I'm more of like a hands-on learner and not like a, if they give me assignment, I know what to do. Um, it's kind of easier for me if like I have directions on what to do. So like, you want to be there like asking questions while you're learning. Mm -hmm. And like, you want to like try some problems out with the teachers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alright. Anything else you want to add to it? Uh, no, that's pretty much it, yeah. Okay, then how is it affecting your personal life? Um, it's kind of affecting my personal life because usually, uh, out of quarantine, I would see family a lot more. Mm. And it's kind of weird not seeing family. And also, I would, we would also go out a lot more. Like, mm. to restaurants, parks, and stuff like that. And, like, road trips. But... It's kind of taking that away from us, and it's, like, hard to let go from that stuff. So, next question. While I'm quarant while quarantined at home, what are you doing to stay busy? Um, I usually play video games, because that's, like, one of my hobbies. Okay. Uh, video games are cool. I play video games for my YouTube channel. And what, your, what do you do on your YouTube channel? I make gaming videos and gaming videos. <laughs> Mainly gaming videos? Yeah. Do you like do real life videos? Um, some real life videos, mostly gaming videos though. Do you play with anyone specifically while gaming? Um, not really. It could vary from like my cousins to friends to family. Ne um, so do you do anything else besides video games? Um, How do you stay active? I play basketball outside with you. <laughs> and I also ride my scooter sometimes. And I go on. Do you have any animals you walk? Yeah, I have two dogs. Well, one dog, but there are dogs. But yeah. Indeed. And we walk them. Do you walk them out every day? Not every day. Like. A couple times a week. A couple yeah. times a week? Yeah, a couple times a week. Good. Mm -hmm. So, next question. What is your opinion on the people who aren't take partaking in the safety precautions to further prevent COVID-19? Partaking? Yes. Uh, I think it's a good idea because it's kind of... No, what is your opinion on people who aren't doing the Why safety not? precautions? Oh, are not doing it. Yes. I don't think it's a good idea because if... You you're basically risking your lives uh, if you don't partake in uh, the safety precautions. Because if you go to like restaurants without a mask, it could you could contract a virus. Or um, you like go to a party with your friends. If like it could also be illegal to do it too. So I don't think it's a really good idea at all. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I think it's a very bad idea because you're risking your life. Which is very bad. And like your skin the lives of others, correct? Yes. Alright, thank you. Right. Hello, my name is Isaac, and I'm here with my mom, Regina Dominguez. Hi. And I'm with my dad, George Dominguez. Hello. So, first question. How is the COVID-19 affecting you on a business level? Well, on a business level, um, I... I, I work for a winery, so we're in our central business. So we are um, working from home part time and going to the office once in a while. Um, we, luckily for us, because we're agricultural, we're still able to work. Um, so yeah, just a little bit different. It is it is a different world right now on the business side, but we're still able to work, so that's good. Probably yeah. good. Same thing. Yeah, we're um, also in the central business. Uh, it hasn't stopped for me. I'm still working every day, um, which is in the production, uh, in the side. production side, 
but again um, affecting us on the business level we just have to take a lot of safety precautions a lot of safety measures and uh, um, you know, just keep with uh, with the requirements that the government requires for you to do to keep business safe. Uh, and everybody saving your business going next question um, how is it affecting you on a personal level for me yes. look at my hair <laughs> the nails um, all that self-care I'm not able to do which really it you know it, it does affect a person and but it's just it's sign of the times you kind of just have to go with it um, on a personal level I, I miss seeing my family I, I miss going out and having fun I miss traveling it is a different um, different environment right now but you kind of just have to make the best of it you kind of just the thing Thank God for our blessings and our home and our children and everybody being safe. So, you know, you just have to roll with it, I guess. That's a good way of putting it. Mm -hmm. yes. How about you, Dad? Yes, I, I think your mom pretty much has everything. I said everything. I, I miss the social environment. I, I like going out, um, talking to people, being socially uh, social with people, uh, even strangers. I just like to talk to them in general. And, <laughs> I miss that. I miss that uh, human touch. Yes. Okay. So while at quarantine, what do you do to stay busy? Um, we, we've been watching a lot of TV, a lot of uh, Netflix. Um, we do a lot of family nights, and we just play uh, board games, um, a lot of cooking. I've cooked so much this last couple months, more than ever. <laughs> That's, yeah. <laughs> What? You, you cooked, huh? <laughs> it's okay. What about you? Uh, same thing. Well, we do the same thing together. <laughs> we live together. So there's your answer. That's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. So next question. Next and final question. What is your opinion on the people who are not partaking in the safety precautions to further prevent COVID-19? I think... What do I think? I think it's such a uh, personal choice. Because some people don't believe in COVID-19. Uh, some people think, you know, if I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get sick. And you know, it's just, everybody has their own opinion. I, it's really difficult to judge. To judge. You know, I, I have my beliefs. I try to take the precautions because of my kids, because of my family. You know, I don't want to get the sickness and, you know, pass it over to my mother-in-law or my mom. So I try to do the right thing and just be cautious. But, but not, not everybody's like me. Not everybody thinks the same, so you kind of just you have to respect their beliefs as well. How about you, Dad? Yeah, uh, for me, I think sometimes it's the same thing. I, I can't judge people, but uh, sometimes I think it is a little disrespectful to not follow the rules because then you just, in my opinion, you've been a little selfish, not caring for your fellow human being, mm -hmm. whether it's you know whether you believe in it or, or believe in it or not. I think. Um, you still should take some kind of safety measures. Maybe not for you, but for your fellow human being. Mm. Thank you. That's all. Our second story is of a family enjoying Easter during quarantine. That is a very pretty bunny, Jess. Thank you. Very pretty. No, yeah, we're very hard. I think an excellent bunny. I agree. You did that one? I did. I did that one, too. These are very nice. Okay. It is about a rain from the looks of it. So uh, the storms are brewing. Is that Game of Thrones? I thought it was Pirates of the Caribbean, but I don't know. Are you recording? Did you, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm recording. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, we're putting all these games away. It's for the dogs and the porch. Because it might rain. I, I don't even. Just put it on there. Or just eat it. Or just eat it. Yeah, what should I... Our third story is about a boy and his brother and them walking their dogs. Okay. So we're walking right now. Hi. This is my little brother, Mateo. Hi. My dog, Oliver. Other dog, Riley. Hey, Riley, look. Look. So we're, all, we're finishing a walk. It's pretty cool. Pretty entertaining. Just enjoying the fresh air. 
enjoying the beauty, the nature. Yeah, there's a dog over there. I don't know if you can see it. Our last story is about the same local boys in basketball and how they're enjoying a brotherly rivalry game of basketball during these times. Alrighty then. You challenged me to a dunk on that thing. Yeah. Let me kick your butt. Okay. So is it me first or you first? Me first. God, that's terrible. Oh, Go again. I dare you. That counts. It's my turn. Okay. My turn. Alright. Are you ready? No. Ah, that's recording.